Hey team, how's it going? Welcome to a new video where we're going to be discussing life after the army. Uh, I left the British Army two years ago, back in 2022, after a 16 year career. Do I miss it? Do I want to join back up? Would I join back up? Uh, we're going to go through that today and hopefully my video may help use those looking to join the army whether it's after four years 22 years whether you're looking to get back in whether you whatever you, you're unsure and i just want to talk about my experience and sort of whether i miss anything and whether i prefer being out or in um, but before we get into that uh, i'd hugely appreciate if you could like share and subscribe you can check out our merchandise our combi ready hq t-shirts we've got alpha tees we've got the basic tees we've also got four coffee blends uh, and you can also support the channel by becoming a channel member join the patreon uh, and if you could just yeah like share 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 away um, i'd hugely appreciate it but getting into the video then so i left in may 2002 i joined in september 2006 at the age of 16 so for me leaving was quite tricky i didn't know anything else i literally left school got my grades in the august of 2006 and i was in the army in september 2006 and i was 16 years old and three months uh, and that was a big shock as it was going from that to the army um yeah massive culture shock and then i did 16 years had a great career um, got to do everything I wanted to do, went on tour um, in Afghan 2012, I was an instructor at Perbra as a section commander, absolutely loved that. Um, I did overseas exercise, I went to America, Oman, Kenya, um, I got managed to obviously get into 7th Parachute Regiment Royal Horse Artillery, I managed to pass P Company, earn my wings, um, going parachuting for the days, absolutely brilliant. And then it finally come to the time where I decided to leave. For me, it was because I'd done everything I wanted to do. Uh, the British Army had changed in my personal opinion and I just didn't see a career for myself. And maybe you're going through this right now. And the problem is a lot of people sort of get pension trapped, as we call it. You get to a certain point in your career where it's like there's no point leaving because I'm so close to getting the full pension. I still had, because I did two years for the Queen, I think I still had eight years of service left um, for me to get the full pension. So it was either get out now, or if I decide to get out in two or three years time, there's no point. And I know a lot of people that feel like that. And it's also a lot of people feel like, what am I going to do when I get out? Um, I feel lost. I don't know what I'm going to do next. And I did feel like that for a little while when I was thinking about getting out. I was like, what am I going to do next? Um, all I know is the army. How do I transition that over to civilian civilian life? Uh, and I actually decided to be a mortgage advisor, completely different. Uh, and to be honest, it doesn't actually cost that much to train to be a mortgage advisor. Um, I use sort of funding from the army that you get. So you get enhanced learning credits, you get standard learning credits, you get a bit of resettlement money. And I think I did, um, it was two week intensive courses so I got taught everything so I didn't have to self-teach myself. It cost about £800, which the army pretty much helped to fund most of it. They paid for all the accommodation, they paid for the travel as well, and they paid for my food while I was there as well. So absolutely brilliant. So that massively helped. And then come to leaving, I had three months worth of leave built up. So I went on leave for three months, which was amazing too, because you're still getting paid by the army. And then I finally actually left. And you know what? didn't find it as hard as I thought I was going to. There was its struggles um, at times, but I actually feel like I transitioned pretty well. Um, I went into the job, thoroughly enjoyed it, um, really enjoyed being a mortgage advisor. I was working for one of, if not the best company, uh, especially in London and the UK. Um, they're an absolute great mortgage um, brokerage. Um, so thoroughly enjoyed that. And mentally, I was totally fine. I didn't actually really miss too much. Uh, and I still don't to this day. Sometimes when I go on social media or I speak to a few friends uh, and you see some cool videos of them on exercise, them going out on ops, even range days, or you see like 16 air assault, they go abroad, they do a massive combined jump with like the American forces, 
Polish, Swedish, whoever it is, a big NATO jump, I do look at that and go, yeah, I miss that. Um, that was cool to go and get paid to go and jump out of a plane or you see them on exercise um, and they're just doing something cool on exercise and you're like, yeah, I really want to do that. I want to go kick in indoors again. Um, I just want to go and get paid to shoot and blow things up because that's ultimately why a lot of us join as well. I joined anyway. It just looks so cool on TV. And then if I'm totally honest with you, it starts pissing it down. And I'm driving along and I'm walking to the shop and I'm like, I could be in a hole, uh, getting absolutely piss wrapped. I could be on patrol getting absolutely piss wrapped and I'm like, yeah, I can't be asked doing that anymore. I've done it. Um, there's no major exciting ops going on anymore. Um, Afghan's not going on. If Afghan was going on still, I most probably wouldn't have left, um, but it wasn't. It was more just sort of maintenance exercises, um, keeping up to standards. Um, doing your training, physical training. I miss the PT in the mornings because I absolutely love fizz. I really, really miss that. Just waking up in the morning, all doing a tough fizz session together, going back, having a shower, have some food, and then going down to work. Obviously, now you just train on your own, um, or you could go with a training partner. You could head to a gym and do some sort of class. So if you do want to make up for that, you can. Um, go and join a CrossFit gym if you can afford it. Um, go and join another gym, do a class. If you do miss that part of it, you miss, you know, the socialising around PT, there are ways you can get around it. With missing sort of army life, there's ways around it. I haven't actually missed it that much that I've needed to do this, um, but you can obviously go and join the reserves. My advice to you is join the reserves just there as a backup as well, because if you leave the army, the day after, you're completely out. So if you want to join the reserves, you have to go for the whole selection process, the medical application, and it can take months to get in. If you leave the regulars and find a reserve unit in your area, join them, You the next day you're out of the army, and then the next day you're back in the reserves without any paperwork, apart from the stuff you've done on your resettlement. There's no application process, there's no medical, you're straight in. So you can attend if you need to, one, if you need the money, two, if you're missing it and you still want to sort of keep in touch with the army, that's my recommendation for that. But I haven't had to need to do that. So there's two things you can do. Um, the other thing is I sort of just miss the blokes and that sort of life, but that's really it. Um, you know, I had some really good mates. You had a laugh at work. Civilian life is quite slightly different when I was in the mortgage advisor role. Obviously, the banter's different. Don't just get paid to sit around sometime or shoot things. It was just behind a desk. Obviously, it's all about making money. Um, you obviously had minimal breaks and it was just work, 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 work. And obviously being behind a desk doesn't obviously stimulate you as much as obviously running around a battlefield or doing co contact drills, commanding you know an armoured recce vehicle. Um, or anything like that, going out on Cambrian patrol and doing like random tasks like that, getting to do adventure training. Um, but ultimately, everyone you speak to who leaves the military, majority of people I speak to anyway, and why they struggle is they actually just miss the family unit, the brotherhood and the guys and, and the girls. Um, they miss that sort of it. They don't actually really miss being in the army. They just miss what the army sort of gives you um, as in friends, social circle, banter, um, and that sort of family, and as they call it, we are belonging. So you can sort of make sense that the we are belonging does sort of make sense. It's that sort of aspect that everyone sorts of miss. For me, I was part of the reserves and I never actually attended. One, I was too busy with work. Um, then I got a new job, work's calmed down, but I don't want to go back. I don't miss it enough to go back. I don't feel like I want to join back up. Um, I haven't actually struggled as much as I thought have. Um, I know a lot of people do. Uh, you know, is the grass greener? Yes and no. Um, it depends what you want from life. I've got a brilliant work-life balance now. Um, I don't get last minute dickens to go on courses. I don't get last minute dickens to go on exercise. <laughs> and there's no ag eyes. Um, so work-life balance, brilliant social aspects sometimes you can miss that but if everything that's going on in my life i'm really happy i don't miss it really at all anymore i'm totally happy 
I've got no thoughts about joining back up. I don't want to join back up and I'm not going to join back up. But what I do love is creating these videos um, for those that are looking to join and those that are struggling with leaving or who have left. Um, I highly recommend that everyone should join. I really, really do. I think it's an absolute great career. Um, even if you only do the four years just to experience the traveling, the camaraderie, the skills you get, the experience you get from it, um, and just go and join the army to like once again shoot things and blow things up because I think it's exciting and it's fun. Um, and you feel like you've got a purpose and you're actually doing something pretty cool and you're making a difference sometimes when you when you do certain things. But for me, I'm definitely not going to join back up. Got no interest in joining back up. Really happy in my life. Um, so I've got no interest in that. For those of you that are looking to possibly leave the army or looking to join the army, start your resettlement early. I've done a video on this. You should start your resettlement as soon as you join. Just think in the, in the future going, what do I have interest in? Um, what would I possibly like? I like photography. Okay, I'm just going to go and do a photography course. Um, I actually feel like I'd like to run a business when I'm older. So I'm going to start doing little business courses. I like mental health. I'm going to do a little bit of mental It doesn't have to do anything with your military care. You get standard learning credits each year. After a certain amount of time, you get enhanced learning credits. And you, you do get paid well. You've got no outgoings if you live in a block. So you've got quite a bit of disposable income to put a little bit aside and invest in yourself. Do courses throughout your military career. I, re I wish I did more. I was quite lucky towards the end that I sort of found what I wanted to do and I started building on that and it's really worked for me. Um, and I was doing mental health courses. I did the mortgage advisor courses. I knew from quite early on towards like a few years before I knew what I wanted to do. Don't leave it right up until the last minute, sign off. And then six months into your settlement, you're still not 100% sure on what you're going to do. Do little courses each year, whether you can find free ones, cheap ones, invest some good money in them, use the standing learning credits. I didn't, I wasted so much money there. Make sure you use your enhanced learning credits as well. Don't waste them and start your resettlement early. It's gonna give you so much more peace of mind and it's gonna make transitioning a lot easier. So many people leave it till the last minute. They don't have a clue and then they just go, I don't wanna be in the army anymore, I'm gonna leave. Make sure you do that because it's gonna make the transition easier. Another thing, like I said, if you miss a PT social aspect, go to a gym, join a boot camp, join classes, join a CrossFit gym, go and do high rocks, go and do something to bring that back into your life in a different way. If you do miss the army when you leave, just go and join the reserves. Say the regulars just isn't for you anymore, you want a better work-life balance, or you've got something going on in your personal life, or you just generally don't want it as a career anymore, but you want to do something else, but you like the stuff you do in the military, just go and join the reserves, find a local unit and go and join them. And you can make up everything. You really can. You can sort of bring it back into your life without having to do the full regular um, commitment. It's, it is honestly and get, you know, have a good social circle, you know, find some friends or, you know, go out with your missus all the time, make plans with your kids, whatever it is to keep yourself busy. The worst thing you can do is just sign off, not really sure what you're going to do, leave and then just go and live with your own, sit in a flat or a house and then you just get into your own head, okay? Sort of learn from, like take things that you've learned from the military. It teaches you so many skills and take that into the civilian world and then just go and join things that sort of bring that back in because um, it's going to make your life easier. Honestly, me personally, absolutely love my army career. But for me right now, the grass is greener on the outside because my life's different. When I was younger, yep, glad I was in the military. It's what I wanted to do. I loved it. But for me now, it's so much better. So much better on the outside. Um, you've just got to make it work for yourself. You've got to plan right and you've just got to put a hundred percent into it if you want any tips and advice you're scared you're unsure you've got any questions just send me a message comment below i'll be more than happy to answer them for you but for me absolutely love it um honestly a hundred times and i'm I, luckily I had this YouTube I've got other things going on I've got another full-time job now I get to do this a lot more because I've got more free time I get to spend time with my family a lot more which I absolutely love uh, I get so much time with them there's no last minute dickens or anything like that 
Um, but yeah, I do miss running around being a soldier. Yes, I miss doing PT in the morning. I miss having a laugh with the guys. But my family's so much better now. My life's so much better. And it makes up for it. And I'm glad I've got to this point. But if you're, you are sort of unsure or you are looking to join the army, have it in the back of your mind. You're going to put 100% into your career. But when you're downtime, start planning your resettlement. Start planning and thinking about what am I going to do when I leave in 4, 5, 10, 12, 22 years, 35 years. Have that in the back of your mind and plan. It will make life so much easier. If you're not happy in the army, like I said, I think everyone should join the army and look at a long-term career. But if you're generally not happy, sit down, make a plan. Right, what am I going to do when I get out? Right, I know I'm going to miss this, I'm going to miss this, but I know the career is not for me. How can I bring that into the civilian world so I don't miss it as much? And make a plan, an actual full plan. And then go to your resettlement, go, I'm going to sign off. Go to your company commander, you know, your squadron commander, whoever it is, squadron leader, and go with them with a plan and talk to them about it. That's what they're there for. They should help you transition. I went in with a full plan. I, you know, my squadron leader is really good. He goes, I want to see what you're going to do, how you're going to make up money, are you going to be able to survive? I had a list. This is where I'm going to get income from. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do on my time off. And we went through it. And he goes, You know what? You've got a good plan. I'm happy. I'm going to sign off on this. Right, give them that reassurance as well um, because once you leave as well you leave like you know they don't care about you but we'll cover that in another video um, but yeah that's mine I you know I've been in and out a few jobs I've got another job um, that I can't talk about now um, but I went from a mortgage advisor had to leave that um, found another job which I'm now in which is absolutely brilliant I've got great work-life balance I've got so much um, time with my family you know I do get to do a little bit of YouTube for you which I absolutely love I've managed to continue this um, you know I train you know I see friends and family it's absolutely brilliant um, so for me the grass is greener um, for you it might not be stay in until you have a plan and you know what you're going to do um, or you might just want to do 22 years. You might absolutely love the military and you might want to stay in. Um, but for me, it is greener. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Once again, if you are unsure, you've got any questions, um, hopefully this has helped you sort of plan and make a decision of whether you're going to do and what you're going to do when you get out. Um, but yeah, for me, the grass is greener, but it might not be for you. Um, so make sure you have a plan in place. Thanks for watching.